Hi everyone, welcome to our overview of Microsoft Sway. In this video tutorial, we're going to take a closer look at how you can showcase and demonstrate your growth as a learner by building a digital portfolio using one of Microsoft's most powerful presentation tools, Microsoft Sway. Let's get started. To access Microsoft Sway, once you've logged into Chrome, and you've logged into Office 365, you are going to come to the far left and click on the App Launcher or the Waffle. Here in the App Launcher, you will find all of the different Office 365 apps that you have access to as a student in ECSD. Simply look for Sway and click on the app. We're going to start by building a brand new blank Sway. So up here in the top menu bar, I'm simply going to click plus new blank Sway to get started. And the first card on my Sway will be a title card. I'll be prompted to give my Sway a title. Now, speaking of cards, Sway isn't your typical slides presentation where you're building slides in consecutive order. Instead, you're building a Sway as a storyline by adding content cards. To add a content card, you're simply going to look for the green plus button at the bottom of a card. When you click the green plus, you will see some suggested cards that you can add, including headings or titles, text cards where you can actually type in text, and image cards. Now notice that you also have two types of cards, text cards and media cards. And if you click on media cards, you have more options than just adding pictures. You can add video, you can add audio, which you can actually record right inside of Sway. You can embed content from the web, or you can upload content that you've created and saved to your device. Now, before we start adding pictures, video, and links to samples of our work, we're going to start by organizing our digital portfolio using the heading cards found in text. So I'm simply going to click this plus, click text, and select heading. Now my first heading is going to be the first subject that I'm going to share examples of my work for. For this video, I'm going to include examples from grade four science. Now I've gone ahead and added my first heading and I'm going to click the plus sign to insert content again and I'm going to go to text and this time I'm going to add a subheading or heading to card. This will let me add a second level heading. Underneath our main heading for grade four science, I've gone ahead and added three subheading cards, one for goal setting, one for examples of my work, and one for self-assessment and self-reflection. Now, before I start adding work examples, I'm going to pause here to let you try. So try creating a sway, adding a title, and adding a heading and a subheading to start organizing your digital portfolio. Once you've completed those steps, press play on the video again. All right, now that we have a basic structure or organization for our digital portfolio, let's start adding in some content. Let's start with goal setting. Now, one of the ways I could start adding goals to this way would be by adding in a text card. So again, I'm going to hover over the goal setting card and I'm going to look for this faint green line. And when I click it, that green plus will appear and I can click text and select a text card. Once I've typed my short-term goal, my long-term goal, and my plan of action to achieve my goals, notice that I can highlight this text and I can 
make it bold, click accent to italicize it. I have the ability to include a bulleted or numbered list. And I even have the ability to insert a link in this text box. A link would let me link to a product or a piece of work that I've created, maybe using Google Slides or Google Docs or another web-based tool. Notice that I can also decide how large I want this card to be. I can leave it set to small or I can set it to a larger size. Another type of card I might wish to use is an audio card. Let's go ahead and click the green plus button and select media and choose audio. When I choose the audio card, I can click the add an audio file by uploading an audio recording from my device or notice I can click the record button here in the top right corner of this card. If I click the record button, I can click to allow Sway to access my microphone. It will count me down from three and I can now record. My short term goal is to memorize the parts of the flowering plant and be able to explain how flowering plants reproduce. My long term goal is to apply what I've been learning about plants to grow a bean plant from a seed and explain how it became a plant. I will review my notes and watch the videos my teacher shared with me in Google Classroom and make notes as I watch or observe my bean plant. Once I'm finished my recording, I just simply click stop and I can preview it. I can now record. My short term goal is to memorize the parts of the flower. And I can click the check mark add to sway and give that a moment for the audio file to be processed and added to this sway. Now you try. Pause this video and try adding in a text card as well as making an audio recording to add to an audio card in your Sway. Once you've finished adding that content to your Sway, press play on the video again. All right, now let's add some examples of our work underneath the My Work heading. Again, I'm going to come to the bottom of the My Work card and I'm going to look for that faint green line and when I click it, that green plus will appear. And for this example, I'm going to add a couple of pictures from a Google Slides presentation and then I'm going to add a link to that full Google Slides presentation saved in my drive. So let's start with the pictures. I'm simply going to click on the image card and again, that search panel is going to open up to the right side of the screen. But I have these pictures of my presentation stored on my device. So I'm going to click the drop down and this time I'm going to select my device. And I'm going to select the three pictures I have saved on my device. Click open and each of those pictures will be added as a card. Now I can change the order of these pictures by simply clicking on a picture and dragging the card above or below the other cards. And I can also click on a card and click this checkbox here in the bottom right corner. I can select all three of my picture cards and I can click group. This allows me to group the images in a creative way in the presentation. Notice that in addition to having them automatically appear side by side, I can select stack, grid, or one of the three types of slideshows. I'm going to select stack. Now, I mentioned that I was also going to include a link 
to the full presentation, I'm simply going to come below this last picture card and I'm going to click the plus and add a text card and I'm going to click link to add a link. For the display text, I'm gonna type in the name of the presentation and I'll paste in the link to the Google Slides presentation. And I'll click OK. All right, it's your turn again. Pause the video here and try uploading or attaching two or three pictures. Try grouping them and selecting a different group style. Also try adding a text card and adding a link to a Google Doc or a Google Slides presentation that you've created. When you're finished, press play to continue watching the video. All right, for our last section, self-assessment and self-reflection, we are going to add a video. Let's start by adding the video card. So I'm going to click the green plus to insert content. And in media, I'm going to select video. Now, notice that that search panel appears and it provides some suggested searches, but I have a video saved to my device. So I'm going to click on that drop down, and I'm going to click on my device and I'm going to select this video and click open. Now that's going to take a minute to load and process. Uh, so that it can play in our Sway. Another way you can add a video to your Sway is by sharing the link to a video you have uploaded to your OneDrive or your Google Drive. And again, you would just add a text card and insert that link. Now it's your turn. If you have a video that you would like to upload to your Sway from your device, or you have a video saved in your Google Drive or OneDrive that you'd like to link to in your Sway, go ahead and add that link or upload that video to your Sway now. When you're finished, press play to watch the conclusion of our video. All right, now that we have seen how we can organize a Sway with headings and subheadings, and we've added a wide variety of multimedia content let's take a look at the design of our Sway. So if I want to preview my Sway, I can simply click the play button and I can see what it's going to look like. Now, this particular Sway is looking a little plain. So I'm gonna scroll back up and click edit and I'm going to go to design. Now here in design, I can click styles and I can try a variety of different styles for my Sway. I can even change the layout from vertical to horizontal if I want the viewers of my Sway to scroll from left to right. Or I can actually break my Sway up into slides like a more traditional presentation. If you want to leave the design up to Microsoft Sway, go ahead and click the Remix button. You can keep clicking the Remix button until you find a design that you like. Once you're ready to share your Sway, simply come up to the top navigation bar and click Share. Notice that you can share your Sway with specific people or groups of people. Leave it set to those in your organization with the link and simply copy that link. You can then submit that link as an assignment in Google Classroom or in Microsoft Teams.